as you know, uh, to build this uh, wallet app, we're going to need Electron, right? And Electron, if you don't know Electron, Electron is like um, uh, the best way, and I guess the only good way to build desktop apps with uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. It has a bunch of cool APIs, and many of the most famous apps that I've used are built with Electron. Now, something that is super cool about Electron is like is that uh, it's compatible in many platforms. It's like, for example, React Native. Uh, it works on my in uh, Android and it works on iOS. It's the same thing with Electron in Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Super, super cool. Now, if you look at the apps built on Electron, I think that. Uh, GitHub Desktop is going to be the most famous one. But also, there are other ones like Visual Studio Code, this thing that you're using here to edit your code. This is all that you see is built on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Electron. And it's damn fast. Slack also is built on Electron. Atom is built on Electron. And many of the other ones. There is one also that people don't know that is on Electron, but actually is. And I think it's Skype. Yeah, Skype is also built on Electron, all right? So they just realized that having a team for macOS, having a team for Linux, and having a team for Windows is nonsense. And the best thing they can do is just have a very good web team, all right? And that's what they did. They created a, a app with JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, which is super cool. So that's what we're going to use. And on this video, because it's super short, I'm going to give you the introduction to Electron. I already did that. And also, I am going to uh, set up the project now. So let's do it. Now, the good thing about Electron is that it's super, super simple to customize it to your needs. We will see that later. But it's something that I really like. And it's um, it's just JavaScript. And by the way, you can use Electron with uh, without React.js, OK? We're going to use React for the front end. But you can use Vue.js. You can use just plain HTML, CSS. You can use whatever you want as a front-end, Nomad Coin Wallet. All right, and I'm going to call this thing Mac OS Windows and Linux Wallet mm, Desktop Wallet Desktop App, I think. App for Nomad Coin. All right, public readme. And the git ignore, yeah, let's add the git ignore for node. Is there a, for electron? No, node. Yeah, node, all right. And we create the repository. Okay, and now with this, we can code, uh, no, I term, and on my documents, I will git clone that URL. Great, and I'm gonna code nomad coin wallet. There we go. All right, let's make this pretty. Great. And now we are going to install some of the shit that we need to install. So I am going to install inside of Nomad Coin Wallet, I am going to install, of course, the Electron and something called Concurrently. All right. So I'm going to install Electron and concurrently as um, dependencies, but development dependencies concurrently and Electron as development. Concurrently, so this is something that we're going to, I'm gonna show you later, all right? Because basically what we need to do is that we need, first of all, we need to start our Electron environment, but also we need to start our um, React environment, all right? Because we're gonna work with Create React App. Like I told you, you can use Electron with nothing or React or Vue. So we, we need to start Electron environment and also we need to start Create React App environment. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call this um, um, uh, concurrently. This means that we're gonna do two processes at once, starting the React App and also starting the Electron environment. All right, that's it. And Electron is quite heavy. I mean, it's 48 me megabytes. I don't know why that's taking so long. So I will pause here and I will see you when this is all installed so we can move on into create our stuff and everything else. See you there. Bye-bye.